A fool never learns. A smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. You really have to work hard for a set of skills that matter to you. Once the skills matter to you and they allow you to serve not only yourself but other people and then you actually go and serve those people, it becomes this really potent cocktail of neurochemistry. But I want to make sure that everybody understands the game that you're playing is a game of neurochemistry. In the last year, at least two billionaires committed suicide. When billionaires start committing suicide, like if the answer is not just self-evident beyond all imagining that money is not going to solve the problems that exist between your ears, like there's nothing more anyone can tell you. A fool never learns. A smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. On this one, I'm begging you, be wise. I'm not telling you not to chase money. I'm just saying it's not going to feed you emotionally the way you think it is. So you've got to completely divorce yourself from this notion of outcome and become completely obsessed with the idea of sincere pursuit. The reason to tie your sense of self, your self-esteem, your pride, your ego, your identity, all of that, the reason to tie that to sincere pursuit is it's the only part you can control. You control your mindset. You control how you feel about yourself. Nobody can actually get you to feel some kind of way about yourself. And if you lose sight of that, if you lose sight of what you allow yourself to think is going to control you at a neurochemical level, and at the neurochemical level, that's going to influence then again how you feel and how you think, and then you get into this death spiral where you're thinking negative you believe in the negative which makes you feel badly about yourself, and then you get stuck in that and you can't get out. And you see a lot of that on the hopes and fears. People afraid they're never going to be able to break free. People in this room that took the time to write it down that they were never going to get out of that negative loop. But here's the thing, the negative loop is based in biology. And once you begin to understand what the biology is exactly, then you can begin to take control of your life. And step one in the biological train is to break the tie that you have between outcome and worth. I cannot promise you that you'll ever be successful. You cannot promise you that you will be successful. But you can promise and know if you actually did it to show up every day and really pursue it. Failure is the single most information rich data stream that exists. You will never learn faster from anything than you'll learn from failure. One. Pain, psychic pain, triggers all kinds of things in your brain. The hippocampus becomes more active, your amygdala becomes more active, you write the memories harder, your brain focuses on it more. So there's just this intensity that happens when you fail. So when life slaps you in the mouth and you realize that you've really made a catastrophic error, then if you can approach it defenselessly, meaning, you're not trying to protect your ego. And my encouragement to you guys is never judge yourself to the lens of a moment. You're going to mess up. You're going to mess up a lot. And if you loop negatively over that mistake, it just isn't effective. And I always tell people, do and believe that which moves you towards your goals. Like if you just repeat that one obsessively in your head, then one day you're going to get to a point where you do something and it really makes you dislike yourself. And you're going to have to ask, does disliking myself move me forward or not? If it moves me forward, then I'm gonna do it. But chances are it's not going to. Every time something goes wrong in my life, I am asking myself one simple question. What is it that I suck at? I suck at something. There's something I'm doing wrong. By definition, if I were doing it right, then I would be getting the outcome that I wanted. I'm not getting the outcome that I want, therefore I'm doing something wrong. It is all my fault. I'm not trying to feel badly about myself because I am divorced from the outcome. I am only valuing myself for being a learner, sincerely pursuing, that's it. The struggle is guaranteed, the success is not. And like the thing that I beg you guys is to have the guts to fail at something that you love. And when you are on the mud, on your face, and people are laughing, the I told you so's are coming out, that you remember one simple fact, you loved what you were doing and you left it out on the field. 
Legitimately, like I'm getting emotional. What the else is there? What more can you ask of yourself than to really cry? To really say, I give a about this. That's the life to live. That's the life. Like to say, I care about this, it matters. It gives me purpose, I'm gonna fight for this. This is a group of people I wanna serve. And I'm gonna go all the way out every day. And look, you're not gonna hit it every day. There's gonna be days where you're off. There's gonna be days where you're weak. Weak. But if that day, instead of yourself, instead of saying I wasn't weak today, what are you talking about? If that day you own it, and you say, yeah, I was weak today, and I'm not gonna be weak tomorrow, but I'm not afraid to face that. I'm not afraid to accept that I'm not perfect. I'm not afraid to look in the mirror and say today was a bad day, that I didn't make myself proud today, but that shouldn't diminish who you are. It shouldn't diminish your view of yourself. Why? Because it wouldn't serve you. Because if you beat yourself up today, you make it harder for you to be rad tomorrow. It's a game that has to be seen in total. It's not a game where you can take a snapshot. And this is like what I want you guys to understand. In any one moment, I've looked like a fool so many times I can't count. But when I look at my life in 10 year chunks, I'm freaked out by what I've accomplished. So I'm okay if I don't become the ultimate version of what I could become, but I won't tolerate not trying. But the truth of the world, just the truth of the world, it is this way. You're always going to encounter somebody better, stronger, faster, more pious, more worthy, more whatever. So if you live in a world of comparison, it will rob you of your joy. Even people who, like Michael Jordan, if you put him right now up against most rookies, the rookie's gonna win. Rookie's younger, faster, hungrier. Michael's just lost a step, he's gotten old. So if he were trying to make his life about his glory in that period, Let's say he lives 80 years. If he's living for the glory of 20 years, that's the most heartbreaking life I can imagine. So you're going to move in and out of these moments where you are a badass to where you're not a badass. Don't value yourself for that. Value yourself for something that is anti-fragile. Being smart, being right, being good, being worthy, they are very fragile things because sometimes you won't be. It simply is this way. Valuing yourself for being a learner, on the other hand, for trying, that's anti-fragile. Because the more somebody attacks you for being dumb, but you build your self-esteem around learning, the first thing I think when someone says I'm dumb is awesome, in what way? Because I view myself in these 10 year windows. And I know the same people that were laughing at me when I became an entrepreneur and knew nothing about it and I was who's the kid in the server room and I was the only one with an office that had no windows and there were like nine other computers in my room and nobody knew who I was and the only contribution I made to phone calls was to say goodbye at the end of a conference call. I'm not kidding. 10 years later, I own a billion dollar business. It worked because I didn't mind looking stupid. It only worked because I wasn't asking myself whether I was worthy or whether I deserved it. I just asked myself, am I leaving it all out on the field? Yes or no? Am I learning? Yes or no? And if I'm not, I didn't go, oh, that makes me a bad person. I need to change my actions to get a different result. And once you start thinking like that, you literally value yourself for how hard you're trying, how much you're learning, how willing you are to accept when you fall on your face, that so you don't try to get out from under it or campaign to convince people that you're better than you really are. Because once you're real about it, then you can make progress. But if your energy cycles go to yourself, you'll never get out of it.